So we're here for a na National Day of Action Against the War. My name is Medea Benjamin. I'm with the group Code Pink Women for Peace. And uh, I just came out of 30 hours of being in jail uh, related to this Condoleezza Rice hearing when we were there with our hands bloodied to show that Condoleezza Rice has blood on her hands, Dick Cheney has blood on her hands, George Bush has blood on his hands. But we're also here to say that the Democrats have blood on their hands and that if they keep funding the war, we are going to hold them responsible as well. And now that George Bush is asking for another almost $200 billion for war, we're here to say no way that we have had enough of this, no more of our tax dollars for this war, no war in Iran. The American people are tired of the excuses that the Democrats are giving. They control the Congress. They were put in there with a mandate to end the war, and they better do it. So this National Day of Action is really a warning signal to the Congress to say, don't give George Bush any more money for war. We say only fund the safe and speedy withdrawal of our troops. That is it. Fund reparations for the Iraqi people. We owe them big time. But other than that, use our money for what we need at home, like rebuilding New Orleans, taking care of the people who have lost their homes in California, rebuilding our infrastructure, health care for the people in this country, giving schools for our young people, the kind of things that uplift people and are positive, not killing people and more war. You mentioned that you were in jail for 30 hours. Could you talk about the conditions and how come it was so long? Well, I was arrested in the hearing, uh, Condoleezza Rice hearing, for going like this, for holding up a peace sign. And for that, a Democrat Holocaust survivor, Tom Lantos, had me taken out and thrown in jail. Two other people were Tom taken Lantos out from California. from California. Two other people were hauled out abusively by the, uh, by the police and for doing absolutely nothing. We were all kept in jail for 30 hours, freezing cold on a metal slab, no mattress, no blankets, no food, no nothing. Uh, and finally released just yesterday, have to go back to court on Monday, uh, but as part of the har harassment. And the worst thing about it is that we are now banned from going into Congress. And they are taking the best activists in this country, uh, like this woman here, Desiree Farouz, um, Colonel Ann Wright from the military, you know, they are saying that we're not allowed to even lay f step our, our feet into Congress. And so we're here as part of, the, of an appeal to say we need reinforcements. We need more people coming to Washington, D.C., going into Congress every day, being in their face, uh, and uh, we can't let them think that because they have banned five, ten people from going into Congress that that's going to stop us from confronting them. The Democrats are as bad as the Republicans. They're not doing anything to protect free speech. In fact, the ones now who get us thrown out of these hearings for going like this are Democrats. So uh, they're also giving George Bush unprecedented presidential powers for wiretapping without warrants. Um, I feel that we have to hold them as responsible as the Republicans. And the other thing I think people should know is that not only are we getting cracked down here in the United States on our basic rights, but because of the pressure of the Bush administration, now Canada is not letting us into the country. And they are using an FBI database meant for dangerous criminals, meant for tracking felons, for sex offenders, members of terrorist organizations, and they are putting us, the peacemakers, on this list because we've committed nonviolent offenses or because we've gone like this. So um, it's, it's becoming very ominous, the signs about how they're trying to shrink our world. We can't get into our own Congress, we can't travel to Canada, and we're really saying that our movement is going to come and fill in behind us and say no, and now we're working with the Canadians to say the world is our world, it's people's world, and they can't stop us from uh, interacting. It's a violation of our human rights, and we're going to fight it. Uh, so as if the limit to uh, media access through corporate or you know consolidation of the media isn't enough now there is a movement would you say afoot to limit our access just as citizens there's a movement to limit our access as citizens to stop us from interacting with the peace movement in canada because the people of canada are very much against their government's involvement in afghanistan 
and I think there's also a crackdown uh, of the extreme right in the United States on progressive organizations. At our Code Pink House in Washington, D.C., now every Wednesday night, uh, people from extreme right-wing groups show up to harass us. Uh, they come out to our uh, vigils. They leave us threatening phone calls. They hack into our websites. Uh, they've come to counter demonstrate at places even in Berkeley at the re recruiting center. And um, they're very threatening. In fact, they um, have left messages on my phone machine that I've had to call the police because they're death threats. So I would say the only positive thing in all of that is that we're effective. And because we're effective, we're getting the backlash. And there's the old saying that uh, first they uh, ignore you, then they ridicule you, then they join you, and then you win. So we're ready for the time when we win. <laughs> okay, one final, uh, just, okay, we'll get to the next, uh, but the one, one, just one final question. Uh, what would you say to, um, Republicans or Democrats that say that if we leave Iraq now it's going to be a bloodbath or it's only going to get worse. I would say to look at the bloodbath that there is right now and that the only possibility of the violence ever ending in Iraq is if there is a timeline for the withdrawal of US troops and that l opens up the possibility of the different factions within Iraq to start sit down in a serious reconciliation process. Okay, great. Medea Benjamin, Code Pink, thank you very much. We won't shake. <laughs> thank you. Take care.